Tamarind Village, a modern complex facing the old city of Mombasa, giving you a glorious view of the Indian Ocean. A look and feel at the Tamarind restaurant gives you Swahili, kind of Arabic uh, sense as you come in. So looking at the arches that we have, the brass lighting fixtures, they, they really bring about that calm uh, feel uh, to the space. Then the view, the view is of the old town. And that again is great because of the culture of the space that we are in. This 58 serviced apartment is in the suburbs of Nyali, set over five floors. There's an abundance of tropical vegetation all around, a pleasantly welcoming and restful atmosphere to say the least. This year, Tamarin celebrates 50 years. We started off in 1972 and this was amongst the first restaurants in this country, first fine dining seafood restaurants in this country and really stood the test of times. The Dao's came in much later and we have two of them. One is called Babulika, the other is Nawalika. And these are old Arabic style uh, cargo ships that were actually used for trading back in the day. And they were renovated, refurbished, and now they're restaurants. How incredible is it that the Thou has been brought to life without losing its authenticity and traditional aspects? Offering a wonderful alternative to luxury hotel accommodation at the coast, the village consists of one, two and three bedroom apartments built in coastal style architecture with Swahili furnishings. restaurant celebrates 50 years uh, this year but over the years we had developments within the space so we have the accommodation side where, which we call the Tamarind Village so the Tamarind Village is a it has 58 apartments uh, exquisitely furnished all of apartments are sea facing it is very unique here in Mombasa um, not your typical hotel it's truly your a home away from home experience. Um, we also have a casino and we have uh, two floating dows. Tamarind signifies Kenyan history. Tamarind is, is a brand name here in Mombasa and, and in this country. Tamarind is an African, authentically African brand. Tamarind is is, is, a, is, a, is a space that is recognized the world over. I often get guests coming here and saying, you know, I, I come here every year from different parts of the world. About 80% of our clientele is repeat uh, business. And the sense of attachment and nostalgia that these guests carry is overwhelming. So I, I, I've, I've met people that, say, that have stories that have memories that have, they've created here at Tamarind from the world over. Tamarind is best known for its famous seafood restaurant and is conveniently located for a walk-in meal. And if you're looking to get away from the normal restaurant dining experience, then hop aboard the Tamarind Dao. The aim of the space on the Dao was to maintain an authentic experience while still infusing an element of fine dining. So we did not want to lose the coastal feel, but still bring in the, the life, the fun, the vibrance of Mombasa.
So the food, for instance, on the Dow is coastal. Uh, talk of a, a, ch a fantastically grilled lobster, you know, our signature piri piri prawns. So the Dow experience is, is about tamarind and is about Mombasa coming together. Tamarind, you have to try the chili crab. It's it's a must. It's this this dish is it's something else. It's a it's a it's a signature Indonesian uh, dish, uh, chi the the chili crab. And I mean, you just have to try it. I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about it. <laughs> the, the chili crab. Second thing I would highly recommend is our piri piri prawns. We've had these two dishes on our menu for over 40 years, so there's a reason they're still on the menu. Uh, first, first and foremost, and most important thing, is the quality of ingredients. I saw so the best quality, freshest quality around. I also have an advantage. I'm favored by the, local, by the locality. I'm just, the ocean is just around me, and I have, the, I have a market here. And I've also we've also got into a contract with a, a farmer at Vipingo, where you're getting fresh herbs and fresh vegetables every day. So basically, we are using fresh ingredients every day. Fresh fish, fresh prawns, fresh lobsters. Basically, what you're serving in the, on the tamarind dal is fresh, pure fresh. Another thing that I must also mention is that our cooking styles are very different. We, 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 we invoke unique cooking styles every day. Best meal on the on the Dow is basically a grilled lobster, just a grilled lobster, but freshly caught fresh, a grilled lobster. We've come from strength, we built our strength from over the years, um, building our capacities, building, uh, bringing up new chefs, young chefs, and uh, and of course, you know, managing this unique concept of. Uh, this unique and great concept. If you look at our starters, our starters are so fresh, delectable. You'll, uh, the, uh, the main courses are delectable. Our sauces are unique. Um, there's a process of building our sauces as well. We, we, we take time to build our sauces from the basics, from the basic level to, to that high, to produce a high quality blend of a sauce. A clean kitchen is your image as a chef. That means you're also a clean chef. That is your first image. That's your first line of defense. Um, you expect to produce clean food. You're having clean ingredients. So cleanliness is paramount. And we are feeding people from all walks of life. We are feeding high profile people, presidents, celebrities, they all come into the Dow. You have to maintain your hygiene levels. And, hygiene, and our hygiene levels are tested from time to time. Periodically, we have, uh, we have hygiene audits from, uh, from, 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 from audit firms, our corporate clients, um, and, and, and we, do, we also do internal hygiene audits from time to time. So hygiene is next to none here. Over the years, the GEM has maintained standards of food and service that rank among the best to be found anywhere. In 
fact, the Tamarind Group has won awards for local dining and entertainment. From sit-down banquets to bush barbecues, lavish and themed celebrations, mixed clientele in the Dao that patronizes the Dao. Initially it was mainly tourists, uh, international tourists that visited the country but that has morphed over time and right now our biggest clientele is the uh, domestic market. It's the locals here in Mombasa. We strive to keep the Dao experience vibrant, engaging, fun and that attracts a wide range of guests. We also have corporates that really enjoy coming on the Dow, end of year parties, uh, corporate events. We have weddings as well on the Dow, such a unique uh, experience for a wedding. Elegant cocktail parties to fine wedding receptions, Tamarind caters for all occasions at the location of your choice. The, the new and more exciting spot at Tamarind right now is the Dawa Terrace. I don't know if you know about the Dawa cocktail, which is our signature cocktail at the Tamarind. This is a fantastic combination of vodka, honey, lime and sugar. Uh, we actually prepare all the cocktails among the 26 classic cocktails and we have our own creations. We have um, our own cocktails here. Yeah, we have margarita, we have old fashioned, we have mojito. Uh, and then we have our own creation like fresh basil smash, we have tamarinos genti, we have tamarind mule and we have also the Moscow mule. And we have the dancing, dancing Rita, dancing berry and all about that. Then we have our new cocktail, Blue Santos. Uh, actually, if you, you heard about the tamarind, uh, you might be have a hint of come and test our own creation our signature cocktail known as Dawa. As you can see, this is Dawa Terrace. So most of people, I could prefer them to test the Dawa. Are you ready to test it? Sure. Uh, actually, the Dawa, it's a vodka-based cocktail and uh, it's a, we prepare using our limes here. Uh, you take limes, you cut it, slices like this one. This one, I have already washed it, so... <laughs> Sugar, sugar, you put a little bit of sugar. You model it like this way. You add ice cubes. Yeah, we are using vodka. Our dawa is actually 60 ml of the alcohol. That. Uh, we have the pure honey. And this is the dawa sticks. It's normally the babu stick. A little bit of it. Then you start like this. Then you enjoy. My dawa is ready. You can enjoy. What makes Tamarind special is the people. We have a sense of ownership to our clients, to our guests. We we love our guests. We personalize experiences for our guests, and that's one thing that makes us stand out. What stands out for us is is the the people element. We, we hire based on attitude, we hire based on heart, you know, because serving a guest with, with, with commitment, with passion, with zeal, is something that comes from within, and not everyone has it, but it's something that uh, here at Tamarind we try to infuse uh, as much as possible through creating a vibrant culture, an engaging environment for the team that we have. The Tamarind Thou is operated by the Tamarind Group in Kenya and is one of the most consistent hospitality groups in the country. 
We, we generally require a minimum of about 10 to 15 guests to confirm a cruise. And once that's confirmed, then the experience begins. Our guests come in at 6, 6.30 to catch the sunset and we serve the Dawa cocktail as a welcome drink. As mentioned earlier, the cocktail is a refreshing combination of vodka, honey, lime and sugar. And as the name suggests, Dawa, you can only imagine. <laughs> and once our guests have enjoyed the Dawa cocktail, we then escort them to the Dao to begin the magical experience. On board, we serve a four-course dinner. This entails uh, an hors d'oeuvre as we, as we start off. And thereafter, we serve a soup of the day. And then for the mains, we have a selection of seafood. And for the non-seafood people, we've got a fantastic steak that we serve. And we culminate the dinner with a dessert of the day and our signature kahawa tungu with halwa. Now, a tamarind dao experience cannot, should not end if our guests are not on the dance floor. We, we have our band that entertains our guests through the evening and it really is a signature experience in this country. While tamarind is always full of life and fun, it had to deal with the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Business here was disrupted, but a lesson was learned. COVID, the, the, the effects of COVID, of course, were, were tough. We're still reeling from the effects of COVID. So, I mean, it was tough. <laughs> Bus our businesses were closed uh, for about three, four months. So, it was tough. But when things get tough, the tough get going. And for me, the, this, for me, I, I mean, we learned so much. We revived ourselves. We refreshed our product. We became more efficient, but still more exciting and enticing for our clients. Despite the challenges that COVID brought about, it was still an opportunity that led to to change, to innovation that I cannot complain about. Positive things I'd say that came from uh, COVID-19 is that Kenyans are really choosing to explore and enjoy authentically Kenyan products. And even more so in Mombasa, uh, we, we, we're seeing that the Mombasa residents are enjoying uh, this space a lot more now and that calls on us also to ensure that we keep the experience exciting vibrant attractive and and that's why we're here the tamarind experience is one of a kind historical cultural and luxurious encounter that awaits you in mombasa if bilha mushuha says so herself if you're looking for something special we, we, we don't try to be pretentious here. Something special, something authentically Kenyan, something memorable. Then I welcome you to Tamarind. <laughs>